There was some Trevor Lawrence news yesterday. Coincidentally or not, his wedding is this weekend, so he won't be going to Indianapolis to get his surgically repaired non-throwing shoulder examined. Reportedly, coming from his agent, undoubtedly, everything is going well, so we can believe that completely and entirely because agents, along with coaches and GMs, never tell anything other than the absolute unvarnished truth. They may as well walk around attached to a polygraph machine. Everything you say can be taken to the bank uh, or, or not. Um, look, I'm not concerned about Trevor Lawrence's left shoulder, Peter. I, I, he'll be fine. He'll be good to go. The Jaguars are going to take him. Um, but, you know, the, the question of his rookie season and how effective he will be, th there is a connection there to whether he's ready to go right out of the gates when they open training camp. And, and I remember when the timeline was first announced after the, the procedure. It was a little fuzzy as to whether or not he's going to be 100% right. when it's time to, to start practicing. But that's not going to dissuade the Jaguars. For as much of an upset as it would be for the Jets to not take Zach Wilson, multiply that by 1,000, that's the upset it would be for the Jaguars to not take Trevor Lawrence at this point. No, they're taking Trevor Lawrence. And uh, look, I, I've already got the invitation from Urban Meyer to come and listen to at training camp to come and listen to the ball coming out of Trevor Lawrence's hand because I said to him, does that really matter? Can you really hear something? And he says, yeah, yeah. He said, well, you, you come down here and you can hear it too. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold him to that. You can bet my little dispatch out of Jacksonville training camp is, okay, now I'm going to tell you what this really sounds like. And maybe NBC will give me a great microphone or recording device and I'll just hold it up like that to see if we can actually hear anything with the ball coming out of his hand. But look, I think, Mike, I, I, I question right now deep down, you know, I, obviously Urban Meyer told me that he'd been thinking about this for a year. He'd been thinking about doing this going back to last January. And he wasn't specific about which team, but everybody knows that he and Shad Khan have had a friendship slash cordial relationship. So I am sure that Urban Meyer is watching the Jacksonville Jaguars tumble down and down and down. And after he understands what's going to happen with them having the first pick in the draft, I mean, you know, would he have really gone to Jacksonville if, you know, if, if, if they were going to have like the eighth pick in the draft this year, uh, they weren't going to be able to get a quarterback. They were going to have to think about, you know, scotch taping the quarterback position together and all that. I mean, it's pretty convenient for him that he's able to walk into a situation with a perhaps a generational quarterback, the most cap money of anybody, and an incredibly good draft situation in his first year. So I, I, I think there's a pretty good reason why he took this job. Pete Demolitis, who is not producing the show today, but nevertheless is subjecting himself to it, has texted that the current odds for Trevor Lawrence as the number one pick in the draft are minus 10,000. That means, Peter, you'd have to wager $10,000 of your hard-earned after-tax money to win a mere 100 bucks on Trevor Lawrence. And it's probably a safe bet at that. If you want to make 100 bucks, just crack out 10,000 and put it on the Jaguars <laughs> taking Trevor Lawrence. And for Zach Wilson at number two, it's minus 2,000. So, uh, again, not as firm as, as Lawrence, but those are the first two. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.